right, River Valley Marine out on Iconic Lake Minnetonka. And speaking of Iconic, got a couple Hall of Famers here with me, John Randall and Chris Carter on the Bennington Pontoon to talk all things Vikings 1998. This is Captain's Chair, driven by Polaris. First, going back to 98, we started the season with, you know, with Brad Johnson, and then we had to switch to Randall Cunningham. And on, it, it, I think that's an overlooked part of what happened in 98, was we won in the season with one guy, but finished it with another. So, Chris, you would know more than anyone the differences between Brad Johnson and Randall Cunningham and what that meant and what the offense had to do to adjust as the season went on. I think the number one thing, it really enhanced Randy's ability to have a great season because Randall could really reach him anywhere on the field. Now, I hadn't seen any football player as fast as Randy Moe, especially anyone that tall. Yeah. So Randall's ability to be able to get the ball deep with him, and then I think that Brian Billick, his genius ability to still orchestrate how we're gonna run three receivers, and Randall has some limitations as far as the offense and him understanding it compared to Brad. So we really had to condense the offense somewhat, especially early in the season, till we got a rhythm of what we were going to be. And then things began to explode. Randall had the career year. Uh, we had three offensive linemen in the Pro Bowl, two receivers in the Pro Bowl. Robert Smith had another very, very good. So all these other things came into place, but Randall to Moss and, and, and Billick, what he was able to do to Randall and communicating that offense to get the best out of him, to me, I thought was phenomenal. And we can't have that magical season if those things don't occur. Yeah, and Johnny, I mean, I look at Randall Cunningham, he's way ahead of his time, I yes. thought. And so what about him made his game so good? I think most time when you have your starting quarterback and then you have your backup come in, usually there's a little drop-off. But with Randall, we're talking about a guy who had to feet, you know, like Patrick Mahomes. And so as for a defense lineman, when you're going against a guy like Randall, you're just not thinking about just rushing him. You're thinking about, I got to contain him. And so for Randall, man, that, that, it just opened another element for our offense and able to come out of the pocket, run with the ball. And I think that even slowed the, 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 the opposing defenses down a little bit more too because everybody, when you throw on the tape against Randall Cunningham, you, everybody remember that one play where somebody tried to trip him and he puts his hand down and gets back up and keeps going. So putting Randall in the game, oh my God. I mean, he was just... He's Randall Cunningham. He's like Patrick Mahomes. It scared guys even more yeah. to see him come out on the field. The 2023 Vikings are going to face a generational talent in Patrick Mahomes. So I want to talk about the QB position. Kirk Cousins is against Patrick Mahomes. Mahomes, obviously, you know, is, is, a, is a young quarterback. I mean, he, he's already on, on that trajectory to be one of the all-time greats. But you couldn't find two quarterbacks that are more different. Right. Yeah. So talk about that. Talk about that position. And Johnny, you know, start with you and just the, the, the issues that a Cousins might give you versus a Mahomes. You know, who would you rather play against? Who would you rather see? Patrick Mahomes is the type of quarterback that gives you all types of trouble. I mean, from watching that show, the quarterbacks, you, you see how, say, his leadership mm -hmm. and how he just doesn't just lead the offense. He leads the team. But Kirk, I think for him overall, for our lead, for his leadership, he's he's the guy that, that we need at this organization. 